Tacitumumab, Wikipedia article audio. Tacitumumab is a murine IgG2 A lambda monoclonal antibody directed against the CD20 antigen, produced in mammalian cells. Combined with radioisotope iodine 131, it was called iodine I131 tacitumumab. Unlabeled tacitumumab together with iodine labeled tacitumumab was called Bixar, and a personalized regimen using Bixar was approved for the treatment of relapsed or chemotherapy slash rituxin, refractory non Hodgkin lymphoma in 2003. The treatment regimen was personalized for each person receiving the drug in order to maximize the radiation delivered to the tumor and to minimize the amount of radiation to which the person would be exposed. 1415 A first dose of labeled antibody was given once, and whole body radiation was measured with a gamma camera over seven days. Analysis of that imaging data allowed an optimal dose of labeled antibody to be calculated, which was then administered once a day, for up to seven days, 1415 each time the labeled antibody was administered, it was always preceded by unlabeled antibody because early clinical trials had shown that total body residence times of radioactivity were longer in people who first received unlabeled antibody so that a lower dose of labeled antibody was needed to deliver the required total dose of radiation. Additionally labeled antibody targeted tumors better in people pre-treated with unlabeled antibody, 21. This drug combination was developed by Corexa which was purchased by GlaxoSmithKline in 2005. It was sold for about $25,000 for one round of treatment. Sale of Bixar was discontinued and marketing approval was withdrawn in February 2014 due to the decline in usage even though it had a 70% response rate. The lack of demand was because oncologists could not sell it directly to patients but had to refer patients to third parties and because of the emergence of other drugs that were as good and could be administered by the oncologists. RET inhibitors, Vanditanib, Ontrectinib, CMET inhibitor, Cabazantinib, Mexi, Ecromeximab, 